viewers and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to continue playing Balloons Tower Defense 6. In this video I'm going to attempt to teach you how to beat an experiment that is called Moab Madness. That's right. 5 rounds, 50 types of Moab class balloons, each round making the Moab class balloons harder. So let's go. As you see I've already beaten this challenge, but I did need to beat it so that I could teach others how to beat it. So for starters, we're going to put down a boomerang monkey and upgrade this boomerang monkey into a glaive lord with faster throwing. Or in other words, a 5 to 0. Afterwards, we're going to set up a monkey village and turn it into a 2 3 0 village. Why? Well, monkey intelligence bureau is a very nice aura. Oh, that was a voice crack there. Monkey Intelligence Bureau is a very nice aura, and Juggle Jumps will make it so that the Glaive Lord will attack faster. And with the remaining money, we're going to set down a tax shooter with more tax, and we're going to start, because we don't really have money for anything else. As soon as possible, we're going to get the Ring of Fire, so that this will clean up any fodder and do quite a bit of damage to the MOA balloons by itself. Afterwards, we're going to get a Dartling Gunner and work our way up towards a 5 to 0 one. However, we don't have money for it quite yet, so we're going to make do with what they have. By the end of round 2, or in the middle of it, you should be able to get the Plasma Accelerator upgrade, which will increase its DPS quite a bit. Also, don't forget to lock it to the start of the way, so that it will get as much DPS as it can. So while these fortified DDTs look extremely scary, they're nothing compared to this defense. And even if the balloons get by after popping a DDT, it's inconsequential because the Ring of Fire is going to finish them off, along with the Darkling Gunner, but worst comes to worst. So we beat in round 3, that was easy. Now round 4 has 50 ZOMGs. Now this thankfully isn't scary. And this round will give us a lot of money, trust me. So we started the round with 26k, 27k, and as you can see here, our money is just rising. We're getting so much cash right now. Thankfully, it's going to be enough to get the good old Ray of Doom that we have wanted to acquire to win this challenge. Now, is the Ray of Doom necessary to win in this case? Yes. Could I do without it? Well, yes. However, this is probably the easiest way to beat it that I found, so I'm just going to show it with everyone who still hasn't beaten this good old challenge yet. So thankfully the Ray of Doom manages to damage the very first bad in its way five times more, and the ones behind it will get 20% damage. Of course, it may sound not sound like a lot, 20% only, but trust me, it's quite a bit. If you really want to, you could also get an alchemist here, a 4001 will be more than enough. Just the alchemist, the ray of doom. Probably works, I'd like to think, but not for long, unfortunately. But it's better than nothing, of course. It's also possible to get a call to arms here and buff our remaining towers. Thankfully, the call to arms ability works here on everyone, the glaive lord. The Ray of Doom, so it's going to allow us to beat this challenge a little bit quicker. You could also do without the Alchemist or the Call to Arms Village upgrade. So if you enjoyed the video, thank you for the view, and I'll see everyone and what else I plan on doing. So goodbye everyone.